So it's happened. I have finally been put out of my misery. I have had my rental renewal through for my flat. It's not horrific, but it could have been better. So for the first few years I was here, my rent never went up. And then in 20, I think it was 2021, might have been 2022, it started to rise and it went up by £50 a month across the year. And that's happened, I think, a couple of times in a row. And this year it's gone up by £75 per month across the year. So it's only an incremental increase in what I was hoping for. It's still £100 a month less than the new tenants downstairs will be paying when they move in. And it's still about £300 a month less than the average for this town. And it's also still half the UK average. So I can't complain and that's why I'm going to renew. Because if I leave here, I am not going to find something else this size for that price. So my rent is now £675 per month. Now currently I pay every six months, I have a yearly contract and I pay the first six months and then I pay the second six months because I don't pass the credit checks for rental. But I am going to ask them this year if they will change that on the basis that the rent has gone up incrementally more, which means it's a larger amount I have to find in one six monthly chunk. And also I've been with them for six and a half years. I suspect they will say no, because I think the landlord probably likes having that extra money in his bank account, earning interest rather than mine. Um, if I don't agree to the terms, then it'll just be a case of me out. So I will ask kindly if they might consider it, and if they don't, I will have to carry on as before. And this is why I haven't locked up all of my spare savings, spare savings, in fixed um, access free accounts, because I knew this was coming up. Now, today's the 16th of August. My rent renewal isn't until the 20th of October so they give, always give you plenty of time you get two months which is really good um, so I've got time to look at the numbers look at my spreadsheets etc and see what's going on so I've had a look at my outgoing spreadsheet for the year and just to get a feel for how much prices have changed because a lot of my numbers this year are red which means that they're more than they were last year. Now, I haven't radically changed my lifestyle. I'm still living a very frugal existence. I still buy all my food either free or in yellow stickers. I only drive when I have to. Um, I don't have any subscriptions. I don't have a mobile phone contract. All these things. So I haven't changed my lifestyle and yet Across the board, my expenses have increased by £630.83. And I will tell you why that is now. So, uh, my rent has gone up this year, will go up this year, the equivalent of one month's rent, which is 675 My gas and electric is going up £48.84, even though, you know, I try to use as little as possible. I hardly use any gas and electric. My direct debit is £40 a month now. Um, but across the year, £48.84, that's gone up by on actual usage. Uh, my council tax went up £52.17 this year. My water went up £22.71. For me not using any more water, my car insurance went up £71.99. And that is because I shopped around. It was going to be twice that. My home and business insurance has gone right down. Although my home insurance went up a little bit this year, um, I stopped taking out my business insurance for simply business because they were just too expensive and the premium was even higher this year. So I scrapped them, I went with Direct Line and I went from 
having a renewal of something like 300 and something to paying 69 pounds for the year for what I need. So I've saved 236 pounds 36 on my across my home and business insurance. Um, my car service and MOT package has gone down 48 pounds 12 this year. That's because it was the three year renewal and that doesn't start till March. So I think it was January, February, March were free and then it starts again in April. So that will go up next year because I've only paid for, I think it's uh, either nine or 10 months this year. Yes, yeah, so I think it's January and February I didn't pay for and then it renews again in the March. So that's why it's a bit cheaper. That will go up a bit, again a bit um, next year. Um, my car breakdown cover went down a massive two pounds 42. Everything else I'm waiting on, so how much petrol I use will be dependent on what happens at the end of the year. My everything else expenses, I think my petrol is going to be up this year because I've been going out hiking and it's, you know, instead of being stuck at home all the time, I wanted to go out and start doing something. But it comes with an expense and that is the petrol to get to these places. So I've already put in a tank this month and normally I would only fill up when I go to my parents every three months. So I would use two tanks every three months and I've already had to put a tank in this month and I'm not going down there so and I'm gonna to have to put another one in because um, next week I'm going to see my best friend who lives over in Derbyshire so that's gonna knock out a chunk of a tank so I'm gonna to have to fill up again so that's gonna be more than my usual um, so my everything else category my spending category looks like it's gonna be right down this year which is great Food is up. I've already spent forty-seven pounds and two pence more than I spent last year, um, and I'm still only buying yellow stickers and using nectar points that I've earned doing surveys. So I'm not spending a lot on food by any stretch of the imagination. My average food bill at the moment is about thirty pounds a month, um, but it was twenty pounds a month last year, and that's because the price of all the food has gone up and because yellow stickers are a percentage of the money off they've gone up as well because there's still that percentage of a full price which has already gone up so that's why that's gone up so i've spent an additional 630 pounds and 83 so far this year on life and that doesn't even cover the bits that have yet to come so i need to stop just need to stop spending on anything one piece of good news is that um, last night I had a look at the um, the portal app for the cleaning company that I get work through and a new job had come up and I clicked apply for it and this morning I'd got the job. Now it's only three hours every fortnight but across a year if that continued that would be the best part of £900. Um, I need to increase income next year. I already know that because obviously universal credit is ending. Uh, for me, it'll be in four days. My last claim goes in in four days on the 20th of August. And that's going to be quite a big chunk of money that I won't be getting into my bank account every month. So I need to find that. I also have now additional rent. So that will cover a little bit of it. I'm trying to be careful because I don't want to end up just doing cleaning work and filling all my spare time with cleaning work. So what I've done, I've booked this clean, new cleaning job to happen on a Tuesday morning because I'm already doing a clean on Tuesday evening, which means I'm already like staying around and not doing anything too involved because I know I have to go and clean in the evening. So if I'm just kind of hanging out at home on a Tuesday anyway, I can block book cleaning jobs on the Tuesday, I have a three hour job on the Wednesday, and then I have the the two jobs which are split over the weekend of two hours each, but I could squeeze those both into just a Saturday or just a Sunday if I wanted to claim back an extra day. That means that I still have Monday free for me and for other work because I do a ton of other side hustles and little jobs. That means I still have Thursday and Friday for me. So that's three days a week that are still for me to do all my other work, um, business and for time for me like hikes and things because I don't go out and do that stuff at the weekend because everyone else is out and doing it. So I try to do those things 
um, during the week when everyone else is at work and the kids are at school because it just makes life a bit easier. So that's an up, one extra job. We'll see how that pans out. It may last, it may not. We'll just have to see. Um, I mean, my original, the, the three hours that I do on a Wednesday were initially supposed to be three hours every fortnight and then it got turned into three hours every week. So that'll mean I have um, four cleaning jobs, three of them through the agency, one of them is private. It doesn't add an enormous amount, but it's a start. But I don't want any more than that. That's all I want. Um, because otherwise I just end up just doing cleaning and nothing else. And I don't want to get stuck into that situation. Uh, so I need to focus on continuing to increase the business. The business is doing better this year. I need to make more stuff. I need to keep advertising it on YouTube and what have you, which is where a lot of my traffic is now coming from. I need to keep at it with the surveys and the market research. Market research has been paying quite well this year, so that's good. So I need to keep applying for those and all the other little bits and pieces that I do. So that's it. That's the update. Um, at least I know what the rent is now. So I'm going to ask them if they'll move it over to monthly payments. I very much doubt they will. Um, but you don't know unless you ask, do you? So that's that little update. Um, a money update. I don't do many of those, but this warranted a money update. So that's the 16th of August. Gosh, at least I know now. And it could be so much worse. I will be here for another year.